YouTube family, Z4C Natural here. I'm back with another video. And today we are talking about regimen updates. Um, so I just wanna talk about the things that I'm doing differently um, that I feel have improved my hair health and why I'm doing them differently, just in case you know, you're looking at old videos or maybe you've been following for a while, um, just so you know what I'm doing now so that I, <laughs> I don't keep you in the dark. All right, so um, the first change that I'm going to say is that um, I've added a small amount of heat into my regimen um, for a couple of reasons. Now, I know a lot of people are really um, anti-heat, and I do think definitely too much heat is bad for your hair, but too much of anything is bad for your hair. And I think I really mastered a no heat regimen. I, it's not that I have an issue dealing with my hair. Like I've, I've completely 100% mastered a no heat regimen. Um, my main reason for adding heat is that as my hair has gotten longer, um, because I do have mostly low porosity hair, I find that it's staying wet for really long periods of time, you know, when I'm doing my braid out. So, you know, I could braid my hair and like days later, it's still wet. And um, I think that's not healthy for your hair, you know? Um, it's like if my hair was shorter or when it was short, it was fine because it didn't stay wet for so long. But as it's uh, gotten longer, I started to think that that's an issue because Obviously, you know, too much of anything can damage your hair. And if your hair is holding water for too long, you can get higher growth fatigue. It wears down, um, it, well, it breaks the bonds in the hair and it can wear down that uh, outer layer of your hair. So, um, which I do think I, I have had like a little bit of damage on my ends from that. So I've started um, blow drying my hair with the Revere or Revering my hair. Um, and I think that's been really helpful. So I, I don't worry about hydro, high growth fatigue. Um, anymore and I think it's just made it a little bit easier for styling um, although I, I style my hair in the same way but if I wanted to switch it up it is a little bit easier <laughs> to do that but as you can see this, this is still bright out I'm still styling my hair the same way but I have added a small amount of heat to my regimen um, I still haven't flat ironed or anything it's been over a year since I've used a flat iron um, but I do think that small amount of heat has helped. Now, the Revere is not really the same as using a blow dryer, although I think you can get the same effects with a blow dryer. You just kind of have to be very careful. Um, if you don't have a Revere, if you're not interested in <laughs> spending that, um, I would advise, if you want to try this out, I would advise uh, maybe using the cool setting on your dryer and using the tension method. So not you know, blow drying with the comb attachment because that can be too much stress on the hair. I think what makes the Revere different is that you don't have to, you, there's like no uh, pulling with a comb or brush on your hair. It just uses, I guess, the tension of like the vacuum like suction to kind of hold the hair and um, blow dry it. So if you don't have that, I would say if you can, you know, use the tension method, which is just you section your hair and you just hold the blow dryer kind of away from it without a comb attachment, you just go through until your hair is dry. And if you can use a cool or um, a warm setting on that, I think that'll give you pretty much the same results. Um, so that's been very good for me, I think. And going along with that, I've pretty much stopped using combs and brushes. Now, I, not to say that I used them so much before because uh, I kind of really only use them on wash there if I'm parting my hair, but now I found it easier to actually stop using combs and brushes um, because my hair is in this semi like puffy straight <laughs> condition. So it makes it a lot easier to uh, finger detangle. Now, if you have a super thick head of hair, you just might not be interested in doing that at all. And I don't blame you, but I have fine hair. So I do want to keep all my hair on my head. And I do think that, um, not using combs and brushes so now the only time i intend to use a, a comb is if i'm parting my hair so i part my hair with the end of a rat tail comb but actually combing through it i think i would only do that if i flat ironed my hair that's the only time i would do it because my hair type it the comb honestly it doesn't even make sense and obviously like if you really think about it the comb it just wasn't designed for 4c hair you know what i mean if you if you actually have 4c hair 
it, 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 you're gonna lose a lot of hair in the process, you know? And most of us have a lot of hair, so we don't even think about how much hair we're losing in the process. But, you know, now that my hair is in this state, it's easier to just actually finger detangle it. And um, it's just easier for me to keep my hair tangle free. So um, adding the heat has also helped me to pretty much stop using combs and brushes. Um, another thing that I've changed is I oil my hair weekly consistently. So in the past, what I would do is, you know, I'm still washing my hair once a month. So I would wash my hair and oil it kind of like whenever I felt like it. And I would just really just leave one braid out like untouched for the whole month. I guess now that my hair is longer, um, that doesn't work as well anymore. So I definitely have to have at least once a week, like every two weeks is kind of pushing it, but you know, taking that time to just re-oil my hair, reset it and, you know, just go through finger detangle and give my hair that nourishment. And that um, has been really helpful. And then um, the last thing that I have changed about my regimen, which is fairly new, and I'll have um, another video with like my full thoughts on it, is Olaplex. So I've been using Olaplex um, number three. And like I said, I do feel like I had some damage from my hair being wet for too long. Um, that is something that can damage your hair, believe it or not, it can damage your hair. So I feel like I did have some damage at the ends with that. So I've been using Olaplex number three. Um, and this is, um, it's a bond builder basically. And it, they have uh, this special patented ingredient that rejoins the bonds in your hair. So it, it puts back together broken bonds. It's called, um, what is it here? Uh, Bisaminopropyl diclocal dimaliate probably pronounced that wrong, but it's their patented ingredient and it's supposed to rebuild the bonds in your hair. So what I have found, um, I do feel like it works. If you have heat damage, um, this probably is a good product because I noticed um, it did definitely, it makes my hair shrink even more. My hair shrinks a lot as it is, but this increased my shrinkage. So I could imagine if you have heat damage, like I really could see this repairing your hair. Um, and according to Olaplex, the um, repair is permanent. So, you know, depending on the level of damage you have, this could be a solution for you. Um, so I've been using this and I'm using this in place of henna. So I used to use henna to kind of, you know, just thicken up my hair and henna is also like a natural ingredient that can like rebuild your hair um, in a different way. kind of just, I guess, coats the hair. Um, what I don't like about henna is that it's super messy and it gives a color deposit. Not that I'm totally against the color deposit, but I kind of just like black hair and you never really know what color you're gonna get with henna. So not saying I'm never gonna use henna again, but for now, um, Olaplex is doing the job of what henna used to do um, in my hair routine. So I've been using this. Um, I also have the number seven. The number seven is an oil, but I'm only gonna use the oil if I straighten my hair, which I haven't done yet um, because it has cones in it and I, um, I'm against using silicones in my hair. Uh, the only time I think using a silicone is okay is if it's a heat protectant. So I will be using that oil as a heat protectant. Um, but for now, I can say that I have tried number three. I have used this by itself. I didn't use the number zero. Um, and I think because even though like everyone has some level of damage, I don't feel like my hair was super bad or super damaged, you know? So I didn't think that I needed number zero. Maybe I'll go back and, and try that. but. Um, I did use the number three and I do like the results so far and I have a full video um, coming on the Olaplex. So again, it's this is not a cheap <laughs> product, but at the same time, you know, I think for what it is, like if it's permanently repairing your hair, I think that's probably worth it. Um, and for me, you know, the mess, henna is very inexpensive, but like the mess, the inconsistency, at this point, I, I just can't. <laughs> with it. I can't, I've, I've got too many things to worry about. I, you know, staining my tub and my clothes and all that. I, I just don't want to do that right now. So Olaplex uh, makes sense for me. Um, so those are the changes that I've made in my regimen. Um, I feel like things are going 
really well and so I just want to you know let you guys know if any of these changes make sense for you for you to think about it too if you have any questions um, please leave them down below I'm always happy to hear from you um, thank you to everyone who has made it this far in the video I appreciate you and um, if you found this helpful please like share and subscribe thank you so much